update. Welcome, everyone. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is, of course, the 4 p.m. stock market update. Uh, over the last show we just had, I had Basil Chapman on and then Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. If you missed those, you want to kind of review everything, go check us out on YouTube afterwards at Tiger Financial News Network. Make sure to give those videos likes and give us a subscribe. It helps us out immensely. Let's take a look at what we got going on at the end of the day. You had the composite off about 1.5%. You had the Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.41%. That dollar a little bit strong today at 101.21%. Crude oil finishing the day up pretty strong, obviously in light of geopolitical developments. And so we'll see what happens later tonight. And if Iran uh, responds to whatever Israel is going to respond with, um, that is the mini that is not crude oil trading up about 3.26%. A lot of volatility today on pretty high volume as well. You have the E mini off about 0.83% and roughly the same uh, with the SPY too, off about 0.8%. Apple a little bit off on some news that they're actually significantly cutting down production on iPhone 16s, or they, they did already. Uh, so we'll see what kind of develops out of that. You have Nike coming out. You have Tesla coming out with numbers as well. Wall Street is expecting Tesla to deliver around 461,000 electric vehicles globally in the third quarter. Uh, they're also going to get a boost up as well as China is giving um, some stimulus to buy EV vehicles. I was looking at Rivian today, and they were getting smoked even further. It's a tough day to be a Rivian bro, guys. Off about 7%, closing down 6.9. It looks to me that we're, you know, honestly gonna get, we're gonna test that $10 level for sure. We break through that, we're going right back to the lows. And so we'll see what happens with that. That's a low of 8, uh, 26. Um, not a great time, but if you believe in it, you should. Uh, just do what you wanna do. Uh, let's see what else we have right now. Microsoft invested an insane amount of money, $100 billion to invest in AI data centers and power. Of course, you were seeing that they did that with BlackRock as well, a uh, certain fund for energy and development. Uh, this is going to be important to keep in mind because going forward, you know, $100 billion is a lot of money, right? This is going to cut in to margins and it's not entirely apparent when this investment is going to become profitable. I do believe it will become profitable and it will be a slow rollout as well. Um, but I think over a long term, uh, until that time, you can see uh, some kind of decreased margins because of those investments. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We're going to be joined tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, with Tommy O'Brien in the morning market kickoff. Then we have Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesavento, and then hopefully Tom O'Brien at 3 p.m. Take care.